was finishing with my book. This a lot of stuff is not in my book because it's too much to write. So I want to put it out on video. So how the Italians made the Puerto Ricans politically powerful in Chicago. I'm in Chicago right now in Bridgeport. Now, how it happened? We're gonna go back to the 1950s when the Puerto Ricans came here to Chicago, West Town, and my family, my mother, Yolanda Carrillo, no, Yolanda Torres de Carrillo, my father's Carrillo, my mother, Yolanda Torres, came here as a young girl. My auntie my and my three uncles, Kelly, Ralph, and Playboy, and then my grandparents, Don, Arquelio Torres and Doña Elminia Torres, Herminia, when we came here in 1954 or something. So when they came to here into Chicago, uh, it was basically a lot of whites, Italians in the area of West Town, Wicker Park, Humber Park. When they got there, they were told because they were promoted and they were brought, they didn't just come here because they wanted to come here. They were told if they came here, they were going to get jobs. And they did get some jobs, but, and they were able to basically not be too, we were not too fucked up because our color, even though I'm dark, I'm dark but my family is not. My my grandparents, my grandparents weren't dark. They, they were very, they, in other words, they can pass. In other words, if she didn't say nothing or my dad didn't say nothing, they would not think that they were uh, people of color at that time. And my uncle Kelly, but I had, uh, but some of us were like me. So my mom too, if you look at my mom, then you could, you know, we were people of color, but if you look at my aunt, you wouldn't know because they were white. So that happened a lot with the Puerto Ricans. But anyway, so what happened was that we were here, oh, oh, well, basically here in Chicago, West Town, Wicker Park, Lincoln Park. Let me not forget because I keep forgetting. Lincoln Park, Lakeview is always over. And my apologies for all my brothers, all my Puerto Rican brothers from Lakeview that I did not mention you previously, but so now, like I'm telling you, uh, you dig, uh, when all this happened with the Italians, we were being in power, uh, I don't want to lose track, I'm going to keep with the Italians, because I'll go back to that first, let me tell you, I'm going to go to Lakeview. My brothers in Lakeview, the Puerto Ricans in Lakeview, and up north. Plus, the other brothers that were Puerto Ricans, that were lost in Pilsen, like the Via Lobos and all those people, and also in South Chicago. So, let, let me put this together. I don't want to get lost. The Italians helped us in the 26th War. All right? to be able to, the Puerto Ricans, to be able to claim that area with an, and it was gerrymandered. They had to read district, and that's when Luis Gutierrez first took office for the 26th Ward. So, but Luis Gutierrez was not the man. I'm going to tell you who the man is. All right, I'm going to give him his, I'm against him. I'll tell you right now, I'm against his policies. Like he said, and when we came face to face, he does not agree with my policy, and that's all it is. I don't have no hate for him, because this is political, but I do that he should retire already. Now I'm talking about Professor Jose Lopez Rivera, Puerto Rican Cultural Center. And I know you're going to see this, Professor. All right? Uh, tip me with your wine that you're living in your million-dollar home. Because you were a hero to us. So it was Professor Jose Lopez Rivera that brought the Puerto Ricans into power with the Italians in the first ward over there in Wicker Park, where he still is by the Ukrainians. 
all right? And what he did was, and he started at Tule High School. And this is an old guy. I'm going to put him on. The guy, I know I got a witness. So there was an old ass. He they telling me that he's still alive. Principal at Tule High School. There was a racist. And that's when the Puerto Ricans were first coming in them. Jose Lopez managed to get in there with the school. And little by little, you know, he backed that racist guy up. But, I mean, I'm not going to go against that professor. If he's still alive, he may be about oh, damn near 102 years old. And I want his interview. I don't believe, you know, I'm going to tell you something, bro. As time go by, things get better. And that's what I believe. And like Professor Jose Lopez Rivera, I know you're going to see this video. I want you to know I'm not against you, Bob. I congratulate you. I honor you because you were the one to put the Puerto Ricans to have some power in their own neighborhood. You helped create a lot of housing, a lot of programs, even the sub schools and all that. You know, for us, but the only thing is, I don't agree with your policy. What happened? Because it's crazy. Jose, Jose did the Diego school. We just had they, a year and a half ago. Shootings, gang shootings. And the, the school knows who they are there. They didn't tell the police who the kids were. They denied somebody got injured. Somebody got hit, and somebody had got injured. I got the interview with them. I got the videos of the shooting. But... Nothing came out. That's a cover-up. And those are the kids you got going over there to Jose de Diego, professor. And La Spada, La Spada, the alderman, he's finished. He fucked up. The community is against him. He's not going to be the alderman 2023. I'll tell you that much. Man, get up with it, man. You did? So the Italians helped the Puerto Ricans back in the 80s when they did the uh, remapping of the 26th Ward, which was mostly Italians. So the Italians always had the vote. I don't know the name of the alderman. I can't remember right now. But Luis Gutierrez was able to take over and as a... And the Puerto Ricans were mapped in in the 26th. The Italians, some Italians were in there, but are not not enough to put the alderman in. But what happened was they made deals, of course. Everybody, Smith Park, in all those areas, they're Italiano. But the thing is, what I want to make sure is everybody knows, all my people, Puerto Ricans, I'm telling the truth, and my truth is to tell the truth about history. And I love history. I'm a history motherfucker. Uh, that uh, it was... The, now, I'm not saying that Italians love us. Hell no. They don't love us. They, they, they care about us. But, hey, bro. They did something that nobody else did. They helped us get our own power. So you, and you see Italian and you're in the 26th Ward or in Chicago... And you're Puerto Rican, say thank you. Because it wasn't for them, we wouldn't even have a voice. And as far as Jose Lopez being the voice in Chicago for uh, the Puerto Ricans, he is not. All right. And I am not either. I'm just a guerrilla journalist. I'm telling you this shit right now because, and to be honest, and I'm not, what I tell you is not no lie. And that I'm no. A fucked up motherfucker, but I'll tell you the truth. Bean, I got my beer right here. I serve my time. I serve my time. I got my beer. I got my cigarette. Where the fuck is that other one? And I got my blunt. You know, I got my blunt. This is a little piece, and I got a lot more. <laughs> and that's what I do. But I tell the truth. So that's what I'm talking about. So you see Italian, you're 26 War Smith, Smith Park, you're Puerto Rican. You tell Alan, thank you, because they helped to build in power. Or if we would not be where we're at right now. But also Jose Lopez Rivera, professor, thank him too. And 
let's give them a good retirement in 2023. Professor, I'm going to give you the best retirement of your life. We all going to get together, and I'm not lying, and we're going to salute you for the service you did when you were young, and now it's time for you to retire. And let's put fresh blood in. Okay? So, that's where I'm at. And that's how the Italianos help the Puerto Ricans get into office in Chicago. Because they helped us gerrymander and redistrict another area. We all made deals. And they allowed, they allowed, what I, it's not that we were going to get it. Even if they allowed us or not, we were going to get it. But I'm saying that the Italians agreed with us without question for us, the Puerto Ricans, to have our own community. And that was the 26th Ward. And that's when Luis Gutierrez first became the alderman of the 26th Ward in the 1980s. And that's my story. Check it out. Verify it.